in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how much work really kind of goes in getting these one of these pop-ups ready to go for racing, for birch run, and any other track they go to. This one is a, one of the older ones we picked up uh, for free. All that stuff right there. All that stuff came out that has to come out. The cushions. Here's some of the stuff we found in them. Going through it. Now when we pick up these pop-ups, a lot of people leave their stuff in them. So there's quite a bit of junk that's easy to get left behind. As you guys can tell. This is not one of the worst ones, but it's up there for the stuff. Uh, all those big mattresses gotta go. Lots of stuff. Here's the interior of it. Uh, the stove. It's a propane stove. The refrigerator. The sink. All those cabinets. Everything's gotta go from the inside. Welcome back everybody to JM Racing and yeah, I am standing in another pop-up camper And I figured uh, I'll probably do a video on it for you guys kind of show you guys what happens to these campers and we what I have to do to get them race ready Sorry about if you hear any dogs in the background whining because uh, Well, they're just whining for some reason But uh, yeah, this is the new camper uh, almost this is some of the stuff we pulled out of it. I was gonna record, but then I kind of dawned on me that you probably guys probably want to see what goes into uh, barking. What goes into uh, these campers ready for race night? So yeah, this is some of the stuff we pulled out. We gotta get rid of all of this right there. All these cushions gotta go. Some of the stuff we're keeping. Some wire <coughs> fluid. Bowl, bug spray, this is some of the stuff. Cans of spray paint. That's how it works. Yeah, not in the best shape, as you tell. So, starting the process of gutting this thing out, we have to cut the seats, that, the beds basically, that come out on both sides. They gotta be cut. One, because a uh, nice piece of metal, wood, so we can use it, and some scrap. Cushions are gonna all come out. They're all nasty anyways. See, that side's cut as well. Doors gotta come off. And all of this inside of here has gotta come out. Because Bertrand, Roy doesn't allow a bunch of stuff in their campers. Now, I heard they were supposed to be changing the rules up this year, so um, they might do it, but as of right now, we have to still gut all this out, but we want, that's the refrigerator. We actually have a couple of those that work. This is like the fifth pop-up camper I've gutted the last two years. Honestly, in total, in the last two years, probably seven cop campers have been gutted. Here's the stove. That's an outlet. This is a, one of the older ones we have done. Yeah, it's all falling apart, but yeah, let's get uh, let's get to work. Get my trusty sledgehammer, but all you have to do with these ones, or these drawers, take them out, take them out, and uh, throw it up on top of here. Now, fun part of this is getting rid of a lot of stuff. Oh, that way I don't have my tripod with me. So we take this nice sledgehammer and. Just to destroy it, but uh, like that. And I got to do this all the way around. So I always come back throughout the video and show you the uh, progress that I have made in destroying stuff. And here it comes. Ta-da! No more door. Well, this is all gone. Same as most of this. Sorry about background noise. Uh, they're testing out a uh, log splitter. So, they can have firewood a lot easier. But uh, yeah, this is going alright. Sorry about not showing you a bunch of destruction, but it's coming along. Surely but surely. I don't know if I'm going to get it all done today or not. Maybe tomorrow. So, yeah, almost done.
Well, here it is. All put up and ready for uh, destruction. I don't know where this one's going. I don't know if it's even gonna be ran this year. Depends on how many more I can get. I only have four pop-ups as of right now, and I'm trying to only destroy two a year. One will be going for a while so for sure because it's probably not gonna make it a bird run. How bad we messed up it is. As I show you guys before this video is over, this one's going to Wassel, and one of them be going to Birch Run. I don't know which one out of the two, but uh, yeah, sorry about it. did not film the rest of it. I was kind of rushing before it got too dark, but uh, I show you what we saved out of it. We saved most of the wiring. We're trying to see if that refrigerator that came out of this one worked because if it does, that makes us three refrigerators that we have now that work and we use every day. But I'll still show you one I'm taking to a Wasso, uh, May. Before we show you, here's what's left of the other one if you guys haven't seen it yet and want to know what happened to it. It will be ran again, probably with everything on it, maybe. Because it makes it a lot of work to throw these away. Here's one right here. And over here. Mind the mess, work kind of stuff. Trying to get some stuff done, moved out of the way. This is the one that'll be going to Wasso because it's not too far away from me. And as you can tell why, the whole front end probably will fall apart before it even gets to a Wasso. So this one will be going to Wasso. And then this one over here will probably go to Birch Run because it doesn't crank up. This one was a hard one to clear it out. We had it propped up with sticks and everything. It was really dangerous to be working and because if that thing came down it probably would have probably would have hurt if that killed me these things these gross right a ton they're not no joke and then yeah we got one more hopefully we can get a few more now hopefully this video kind of helps you guys understand how much work it goes into getting these pop-ups getting the pop-ups one thing is hard gut them is not too bad it depends on how masked up with them. Like I have dealt with pop-ups that had mice, uh, black mold, uh, well, human stuff. Yeah, I've been taking a shower. It's it's a lot of work to do these pop-ups. So I hope you guys understand that I can only destroy a couple of them a year. But I will try to let you guys know where pop-ups will be. And if you guys want to come out and watch it get destroyed, uh, come on out. Now I have a few ideas I want to do. Again, I apologize how long it's been since the last video, but videos are starting to get better. It's starting to warm up a little. We still have to get that truck done. My truck's got to get worked on. And some more vehicles up there. Here's that pop-up. But we also got a, a farm to run. We have animals to take care of. We have stuff to clean up. I'm still cleaning up all this mess up here from, well, from years ago. And as soon as all this is cleared up, that's where that pop-up is going to go, back here. Lots of work to be done. Just not enough time to do it all. But uh, again, I appreciate everyone for clicking on this video. Appreciate everyone clicking on this video. And uh, I guys catch you guys all in the next racing video. Goodbye. And just to let you guys know, the refrigerator is working. So, thumbs up. Another one to add to uh, to the house.